On the previous video, guys, I talked about long-acting insulin. Today, I want to talk about mealtime insulin or short-acting insulin, fast-acting insulin, however you may know it. That's what I want to educate you on, how these insulins work and which ones are better options for you. So make sure you guys are tuning in. Welcome, guys, to my channel, The Voice of Diabetes. This is Diana. I am here as your diabetes expert and helping you and your family better manage diabetes so that we can all be diabetes and live healthier and happier lives. Short-acting insulin, also known as mealtime insulin, is much different than the insulins I discussed earlier. These tend to work quicker. So we know that type 1 diabetics are definitely on mealtime insulin because they need it for survival and for maintaining good glycemic control. But we also have type 2 diabetics and gestational diabetics, so diabetes during pregnancy, who are utilizing these insulins to try to maintain better blood sugar levels after the eat. You want to think of these different insulins that I'm about to discuss in a minute as a burst of insulin to help you get through a period of time. So let's just say you're about to have lunch and you know that it's going to spike up your blood sugar. You would give yourself some mealtime insulin so when the food starts to become digested and absorbed, and of course that means it will turn into sugar and cause a spike in your blood sugar levels, you have the insulin on board that you need to help you carry through. Unlike the basal insulins, which kind of push you throughout the day slowly, this is actually working very quickly and is trying to get your blood sugars down whenever they are spiking. And within a few hours, it's done and it leaves your blood system so it's no longer there. To kind of understand how these insulins work, I kind of want to understand how the pancreas works. Whenever we eat, the pancreas shoots out insulin. It goes straight into our bloodstream and obviously it helps bring our blood sugars down when the food is becoming digested. This insulin kind of follows the same mechanism. However, we cannot really give insulin in the bloodstream when we're injecting it. It normally goes into the fat tissue and we absorb it and that's, how, that's when it starts to kick in. With that being said, we know that the onset of this insulin is not very quickly, meaning you want to give it before you actually start eating. So normally when we're talking about Humalog, Novolog, normally we tell patients, hey, take it about 10 to 15 minutes before you actually start eating. So when you start eating and the food starts to digest and turn into sugar, this starts to kick in at the same time, therefore lowering the blood sugars without you ever going too high. So Humalog and your Novolog or the onset of those insulins is normally going to be about in about 10 to 15 minute period, as I mentioned, which is why you really want to take that before you eat, because taking that after you eat, you're probably not going to catch when the blood sugar level is going too high and, and you'll be a little bit late, therefore causing a high blood sugar level. And we know that it's obviously going to peak in about 30 to 60 minute period. For patients that know what they're going to eat exactly, this is great because they can sit down and say, I'm going to have, you know, X amount of carbohydrates, therefore I'm going to give myself X amount of units. And, you know, they take it about 10, they take it about 10 to 15 minutes before the meal. That's great. But we know that life doesn't work that way. Sometimes you're busy, sometimes you take insulin, but then something comes up and you can't eat. And therefore that's obviously very dangerous because you, the insulin is still on board working, which can cause a low blood sugar because you didn't eat or you didn't eat enough. Maybe you thought you're gonna have two pieces of, of bread, but you only ended up having one with your sandwich. Now you already took the, you took the insulin for two slices of bread. Therefore, your blood sugar, you're at risk for going too low. So what they did is they said, hey, you know what? We're going to make newer insulins. We need to come up with something that's going to get rid of this meal planning because we're realizing that patients are having a problem taking the insulin before they eat. Maybe they're forgetting to take the insulin or maybe they're taking the insulin and then they're not eating because something comes up. Maybe you're at work and you have an emergency. I mean, there's so many reasons on why we... We might plan to eat and not eat, guys. We can't always predict what will happen. And sometimes you may start eating, but you don't feel well, so you're actually not eating the amount of food that you actually anticipated to eat. And now you have all this insulin on board and you know there's not much you can do about it. The risk of you going low is much higher. So the company said, we need to make something smarter. So they made FIAS, which actually uh, is absorbed within one minute after injecting, guys. So that's amazing. You can actually take FIAS 
at the start of your meal and sometimes you can even take it after your meal because we know it's going to start working very quickly which is great guys because that gives you so much flexibility let's just say you intended to eat two slices of bread but you only had one now you can say well i only had one so i'm going to give myself x amount of fias versus saying oh shoot i already took this amount of insulin what am i going to do about it now you're, you're trying to have sweets and trying to do whatever you can to prevent the low and of course we don't we never want you to eat for insulin we want you to eat and have the insulin to help you in keeping and managing your blood sugar level uh, fias peaks within about 19 minutes so that's really good guys versus your novolog and your humalog which will peak at uh, 30 to 60 minutes so that's how we know that obviously fiasp is more quick acting and this is a great mealtime option especially for my patients who forget to bolus or they eat they start eating and then they remember oh shoot i forgot to take my insulin so of course all these options just give us flexibility the more options it is we know that the more um, they're going to serve our patients of course competition always drives things to move even in a better direction now the newer one is Lumjav. Lumjav was just approved last year and Lumjav also starts working very quickly within a minute of administration but actually it peaks even quicker than FIASP. It's, the studies show that it peaks at only 13 minutes. So it's even better guys, and this is just amazing because some patients who have gastroparesis, who are processing things differently, having these options is so incredible and for patients you know a lot of my younger patients who are who are very busy schedules and they might they may not be have a, a predictable schedule then i say okay the newer options are going to work for you because even even if you take it right after you eat this is actually going to start working and you will get the drop in blood sugar after you eat versus getting this very high blood sugar and now you're trying to play catch up and trying to lower your blood sugar levels which of course playing catch up is never recommended because that can actually and uh, lead you to have what we call hypoglycemia or a low blood sugar reaction so guys this is great that we have so many options and of course each option each thing might work differently for patients but the newer ones are better because they provide more flexibility and they enable you to to have a little bit more roomway with what you want to do and when you want to give yourself the insulin so again guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please share with others and share it on social media so you can help help other people who may be on these medications and i will see you guys all next time take care